Hi there, good morning ladies, welcome back. I hope by now you've had the opportunity to watch last week's video where I went out to Fenton, Michigan and visited the beautiful Rejuve Avenue Skin Spa. While I was there, I spoke with the owner, Tracy Aubajon, and we talked about skincare needs for the lady that is just getting started and wants to tap into some good anti-aging ingredients. We also talked about procedures that you can do to enhance the work that you do at home. Well, guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna head right back out to Rejuve Avenue. We're gonna visit with Tracy and we are going to do a procedure called hydrofacial. I have been doing hydrofacial for the last four months. This will be my fifth month in a row doing hydrofacial and boy, have I been loving it. What is hydrofacial? It is the next generation of microdermabrasion. Hydrofacial provides a deep cleanse, exfoliation, extractions, and hydration to your skin. How it does this is by using a unique blend of antioxidants, peptides, and hyaluronic acid. Hydrofacial is a non-invasive, non-surgical procedure with no discomfort and no downtime. The other beauty with hydrofacial is that you can have it customized to yourself and there are certain upgrades that you can do to do that. There is a 15% glycel peel. There is also a 30% glycel peel. There is LED light therapy to tackle things from acne to more of your other anti-aging needs. You can add in growth factor as well as other add-ons to tackle things like brightening the skin and age spot. The other beauty is there is a special hydrofacial just for teens in tackling that teen acne. So if you are someone and you are struggling with acne and you're a teenager, I highly suggest that you check into hydrofacial. I am already loving and obsessed with hydrofacial, but I love how I have been able to customize it for my needs. I have tapped my feet into doing the Glycel 30% peel. I've done that all four months. I have also added in the growth factor. And last month, I also tried the LED red light Ladies, therapy. who is ready to go out to Fenton, see Tracy at Rejuve Avenue, and watch her perform hydrofacial on me. All right, let's do this, let's go. Okay, so hi Tracy, welcome to Rejuve. Um, I'll be taking care of your Hydra today. Hydrofacial is a great uh, treatment for your skin. It allows me to use a Vortex technology for deeper cleansing, exfoliation, which is typically how we use a microdermabrasion. It allows for a little skin renewal uh, by put, placing a chemical peel underneath your skin in your skin, and then allows for a little breakup from extractions, uh, clean out your pores, any uh, whiteheads, blackheads that you may have, and then we'll rehydrate your skin by putting hyaluronic and peptide serum into your skin. Today we're also adding a growth factor on your skin and that will help increase the um, hydrofacial by 30%. So it's a nice benefit to add on at the end. So I'm going to begin today, I'm going to manually cleanse your skin and then we'll begin your treatment. Do you have any questions for me at this time? Um, not yet, but I will think of some for sure. Okay. So during hydrofacial, it's important to keep your eyes closed so none of the serums go into your eyes. Okay, now that we've done manual, we're going to start with the treatment. We're going to start with step one, which is the vortex cleansing and exfoliation. It uses a glucosamine cleanser, and the vortex technology is a water treatment, so it allows to break up the sebum a little easier than a manual exfoliation.
ladies, just so you know, this is not painful at all. I actually like the feeling. I want to ask that's number one question. Is it going to hurt? No, it does not hurt. There's like a, I don't even want to say a mild scratching going across your skin. I, it's, it's, I wish I could describe an example of what it feels like, but it is not painful at all. It's an evasive treatment with non-evasive form of delivery. Yeah. We're just doing an overlap. Dead skin. Now, Lisa, what would you say makes a facial like this different than getting, let's say, a facial at a regular salon or spa? So facials are beneficial. They have the form. This is more of a treatment, and we sell it as a treatment. Of course, the name is Hydrofacial, but it is benefits of three different services that typically you don't do at the same time because your skin's very red after exfoliating, extractions, and a peel. And then this adds the one special by hydrating your skin, and I think that's what sets it apart. Some um, clients are a little red. Your skin's a little red during it. Um, typically, if they're red, it only lasts half hour to maybe an hour. treatment for their skin and this is definitely for result driven clients. Mm -hmm. So now we've gone through, we've got a great cleansing, we've exfoliated the part that the microdermic abrasion typically does. Now I'm going to push the chemical peel into your skin. It's great for fine lines, shrinking pores, promoting even skin tone, breaking up any bacteria and sebum under our skin, and help renew our skin for the extraction portion of our, our facial.
the paint is a typical abstraction, this is a little uncomfortable. Manually. To refresh, so I'm going to place the growth hormones on your skin, and that's just going to increase this hydrofacial and the benefits that you're going to reap from it by 30 percent. And then we'll add your serum. Hydration renewal by placing antioxidants back into your skin. A blend of peptides and hyaluronic serum, which pumps gives our skin that plump look to it, refreshed look to it. you can add on when you have Hydra also. We do a blue light therapy or red light therapy that adds on to the treatment. Um, for my clients who like to have the deluxe facial treatment too, we can add a mask onto it also. It's just gonna be right now. It feels great. Great, at this point, we're gonna add a couple different serums onto your skin. Um, I will put a moisturizer on the sunblock and um, I recommend not to use a retinol for 24 hours yep. just because your skin's a little tingly afterwards. Uh, but you can go about your normal business. You can go put makeup on your skin. You'll have this beautiful glow. I like to include the neck a little bit too. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's like that. mm -hmm. I generally try to schedule my hydrofacials on days where I don't have to apply makeup. I just love to enjoy the whole facial, the whole rest of the day, going into the next day, I don't generally do anything with my skin. Want to enjoy all the beautiful glow? Mm, that's exactly it. Natural, natural glow. But it is nice that that alternative is there for those that work and have to go back. And they can go back to work and have a normal schedule afterwards. 
Um, I think that's beneficial also to the Hydra because a lot of clients come on their lunch hour. Mm -hmm. And it is very nice. It doesn't take a real large amount of time out of your day. It's very doable. That's right. <laughs> I always like to end with a little head massage, scalp massage afterward, just to give you a little relaxing. Do you have any other questions for me or concerns about your skin? Mm -hmm. No, it feels wonderful. If you have anything you want to add, feel free. I think we're good. I think uh, we'll just, we've talked about our home care, mm -hmm. the importance of sunscreen. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of questions people ask are, how often can you get a Hydra? Mm -hmm. I would typically say three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. You could do one every two weeks if you're getting ready for an event. Mm -hmm. um, but because of the exfoliation, I would recommend three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. Let's say somebody wanted to get a Hydra facial right before a big event. Let's say they had a wedding on Saturday, you know, mother of the bride, the bride. When would you recommend they get that hydrofacial? Which day? So, like with you, you have a lot of show redness. I would say the day before. Okay. We'll see, and you've had them before, mm -hmm. so you know how long your skin. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a client who I'm used to their skin, I would, if they're, I'd say 80% of people aren't very red afterwards. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I would recommend having it done before so mm -hmm. we can see how your mm -hmm. skin is. Mm -hmm. You know, I've asked people the, the yep. day of a wedding, I've had them do the day before. Mm -hmm. So every skin type is different. Right. So I'd like yep. to consult with them. And sure. Kind Maybe of do a trial run and see absolutely. what their reaction is afterwards. I think that's great. Yeah, I know for myself, um, I certainly, like today is a Friday, I certainly could uh, uh, benefit having something tomorrow. My skin always looks amazing. My makeup looks amazing the next day. I love it smoother appearance mm -hmm. for everything. Yes, oh yeah. yes, that first application of makeup is just beautiful. Very good. Oh, thank you, I love it, Lisa. Thank you. All right, what did you think of the hydrofacial? Please leave me a comment down below of what your thoughts are. Also, if you have any questions, leave those there. We can always do a follow-up video if we missed anything or if you have any specific questions, I'd be glad to bring Tracy back in to answer any of those needs. Don't forget, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. If you hit the bell, you'll get a notification as soon as I publish new content. Also, make sure you head on over to my website. If you haven't subscribed there, again, you'll get immediate email notification when I publish there. Be sure if you liked this video to give it a like. If you live in a local area, don't hesitate to go out to Fenton and visit Tracy and her staff at Rejuve Avenue. They'd love to see you. They'd love to hook you up with whatever you need there. Thanks again for watching this video. Can't wait to bring out the next one. We'll see you soon.